Knowledge of aerospace classes is essential for all pilots. Even today, with all the technology on board the aircraft, it is not easy to know which airspace you are flying in. You have to pay close attention to available charts as well as national rules and regulations to always know in which airspace you are operating. Flight crews may sometimes not be aware of the classification of the airspace through which they are operating. Knowledge of type of airspace is important. It will make you vigilant about type of separation and services being provided at any given time. There are four types of airspace, controlled, uncontrolled, spatial use, and other airspace. Controlled airspace is a generic term that covers the different classifications of airspace and defined dimensions within which a traffic control service is provided in accordance with the airspace classification. Controlled airspace are class A, B, C, D, and E. Uncontrolled airspace for any airspace that has not been designated as controlled is known as uncontrolled airspace. Class F and Class G are under uncontrolled airspace. Special use airspace is a designated area in which activities must be confined because of their nature where limitations may be imposed upon aircraft not part of those activities. Prohibited areas are the most stringent it is of defined dimensions about the land areas or territorial water of state within which no flight is permitted. Restricted area is an airspace of defined dimensions about the areas or territorial water of a state within which the flight of aircraft is restricted in accordance with certain specified conditions. It may be possible to transit restricted areas that are not in use but confirmation of inactivity with the controller authority is required. Danger areas and areas of defined dimensions within which activities dangerous to the flight of aircraft may exit at specified time. The effect of the creation of the danger area is to caution operators or pilots of aircraft that it is necessary for them to assess the dangers in relation to their responsibility for the safety of their aircraft. The other Special use is space are military operations area, alert areas, control firing areas. Then other A space are temporary flight restrictions, military training routes, parachute jump aircraft operations, national security areas, air defense identification zones, and published VFR routes. ICAO defines A space into seven categories. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Within these A spaces, different requirements exist in relation to what kind of flights are allowed. Separation between IFR and VFR, mandatory uses of radio and transponder, and maximum speed. Now we will discuss these seven classifications. Class A A space. Only IFR is permitted, VFR is not allowed in class A airspace. All IFR are separated with other IFR flights and air traffic control services are provided. There is no speed limitation. Radio communication is a mandatory requirement and all aircraft are subject to ATC clearance prior to entering into class A airspace. Class B airspace, IFR and VFR, both traffic are permitted. IFR are separated with other IFR flights VFR are separated with other VFR flights and IFR and VFR both are separated with each other. They are provided air traffic control services, IFR, VFR both. Speed limitation is not applicable in class B airspace. Radio communication is a mandatory requirement and IFR and VFR both are subject to ATC clearance. Class C airspace, IFR, VFR both traffic are permitted separation provided between IFR and IFR and IFR and VFR. Here point to be noted that IFR and VFR are separated, but VFR and VFR are not separated. IFR are provided with air traffic control services. VFR are provided air traffic control services, 
with respect to other IFR flights. However, VFR and VFR will receive only traffic information. For IFR flight, there is no speed limitation, but for VFR, speed limitation is 250 knots indicated airspeed below 10,000 feet above mean sea level. Radio communication is mandatory requirement for both IFR and VFR while operating in Class C airspace, and both are subject to ATC clearance. Class D airspace, IFR and VFR, both flights are permitted. IFR is separated from other IFR and VFR, no separation is provided. IFR is provided air traffic control services. VFR is provided air traffic control services. And with respect to other IFR or VFR flights, traffic information will be provided. Both are subject to speed limitation of 250 knots indicated airspeed below 10,000 feet above mean sea level in class D airspace. Radio communication requirement is mandatory and both IFR and VFR are subject to ATC clearances. Airspace in terminal areas, control areas, control zones and aerodrome traffic zones have been classified and designated as class D airspace. Class E airspace, IFR and VFR both are permitted. IFR is separated from other IFR. VFR is not separated. IFR is provided air traffic control services, whereas VFR is provided with respect to other VFR or IFR, only the traffic information. Both are subject to speed limitation or 250 knots indicated below 10,000 feet above mean sea level. Radio communication is mandatory for IFR. However, for VFR, there is no such requirements. Both IFR and VFR are subject to ATC clearances. Class C airspace shall not be used for control zones as it is. it can be classified as Class D. Airspace in designated ATS routes outside terminal areas, control areas and control zones where a traffic control service is provided has been classified and designated as Class E airspace. Now we will talk about the uncontrolled airspace, class F. Here, IFR and VFR, both flights are permitted. All IFR flights are separated with other IFR if practicable. And for VFR, no separation will be provided. For IFR, advisory services will be provided. And for VFR, flight information service will be provided in respect to other flights, VFR or IFR. Speed limitation, 250 knots indicated airspeed below 10,000 feet above mean sea level for both IFR and VFR is mandatory. Radio communication for IFR is mandatory and there is no such mandatory for VFR. And they are not subject to ATC clearance while operating in class F because it's an uncontrolled one. Class G airspace, here IFR and VFR both are permitted and they will not be separated they can receive flight information uh, service if uh, requesting. And they are subject to speed limitation of 250 knot indicated airspeed below 10,000 feet above mean sea level. Radio communication requirement for IFR is in all airspace is mandatory. However, for VFR, there is no such requirement in class G airspace. And IFR and VFR are not subject to ATC clearance as this is uncontrolled airspace. Thank you.